Hello, Total Mazarina. We are from Group 5. Today, we are going to present for PBUI 1072 Assessment Tree Purposing Community Project. Before we go further, I would like to introduce our group members, which are Muhammad Hazi, Ting Seng Shong, Muhammad Alif, Ting Lizi, and I'm Sukin Su. My matrix number is 76775. Next, in this presentation, there are seven main points which are background, statement on link, goals and alternatives, promotion plans, project description, operation budget, and anticipated outcomes. Next is background. I'm sure you know what mental illness is and its symptoms, but I will let you help you to refresh it again by giving you some examples. The examples of mental illness symptoms are excessive pains and worries, extreme mood changes of highs and lows, problems sleeping, and others. Next, the examples of mental illnesses are depression, anxiety, eating disorders, and others. I explain this is because from UN Specialist Center in 2020 reported that from 10 people, there will be 3 people suffer mental illness. This is because assisting counselor does not reflect on treating patient mental health problems. He said that students themselves does not have ability to cope with their stress and anxiety during isolation. Furthermore, the vendor received 4,142 calls from 18 March 2020 to 16 May 2020. 34% of these calls about COVID-19 were suicidal. Therefore, we propose to conduct a program to help students with mental health problems during pandemic control a student hall of faculty of cognitive science and human telephone. Therefore, for me. Assalamualaikum, my name is Mohd Azibun Asman. With metric number 72807, I will present about statement of needs. Based on the straight times, about 1,084 people experience different levels of mental level. It's about 45% of nation citizens experience it after MCO implemented by the government. There are 65% and 67% of university students had anxiety and stress symptoms. This is because of the lack of family income and quality of internet. We've been shocked with the news about suicide happened between age 10 to 24 years old. Because of the school culture, students only get support if they were the one who is seeking help. But for those who shy does not seeking help, will not get any mental health support. Lastly, most people are not willing to seek on professional help. They are rather to keep themselves than to feel mental health stigma and embarrassment for them to telling this. This is because of lack of mental health knowledge and negative perspective from everyone about seeking help on mental level. That's all for me, thank you. Hello, my name is Tin Liti. My matrix number is 72713. I would like to present goals and objectives. Our goal is to organize about awareness regarding mental illness among students during the pandemic and also to help students of University of Malaysia Sarawak to engage the mental awareness during the pandemic. We will conduct a two-hour session in the program by inviting a professional speaker from Empower Counseling Consultancy Services to show how mental awareness able to affect the among students. Through this program, we can promote help-seeking behavior and students' emotional well-being practice. We also want to reduce stigma associated with mental illness among students of Unimas. So, 
our program called Student Mental Wellness Program. The date falls at 24th and 25th of the July. The time is from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Around of 30 students from Faculty of Cognitive Science and Human Development are invited to attend this program. We choose student hall of Faculty of Cognitive Science and Human Development Unimas as our location of this program. This is because students who take psychology are study and attend lecturer around this faculty and it takes 10 km away from our company. In our program, we have a collaboration to empower counseling consultancy services, which is invite a professional speaker from them to give a talk session. During the program, all participants have a chance to import a consultant session with counseling committee. Hello, my name is Ding Song Jong. Tuo analysis strength. We help the student to practice their stress and life management for productivity and efficiency. We also help the student be aware of healthy mental need to have a healthy lifestyle first. Winners. Most of the students have poor mental health and the students are not motivated and easily get out. We also have no experience in dealing with mental illness opportunity. We see the problems occur among the students as opportunity for us to help them stand out themselves to get through their study. We concern about the student future through the program. We also hope that we are able to improve students' mental health tracks. Students have the risk infected by COVID-19 if they join our program during the pandemic. Most of the students also are afraid to face their mental problem. Next, promotional plans. First, social media advertising such as Facebook and Instagram. Second, print media advertising such as The Star and Borneo newspaper. Third, networking and community involvement such as post sharing in the social media software. Next, operational cost. Our operational cost estimated would be 4,920 ringgit Malaysia, which include all expenses such as materials, logistics, fees, and render, publicity, refreshments, token of appreciation, and miscellaneous. Our projected income is sponsored by Empower Counseling Consultancy Service Company, which is 5,000 ringgit Malaysia. That's all for me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mama Ali Faiman bin M. Tajuddin, number metric 70564. For today, I am going to explain the anticipated outcome of our project. One of the anticipated outcome that we obtain from this program is firstly a significant improvement in the moral and motivation of the mental wellness participants. We can see that uh, most of the participants have positive feedback based on their impression and comments after the program. To see this kind of changes is what we wanted from organizing this program at the first place. Second is to spread the awareness on the importance of having mental wellness among community. There is still a lot of stigma attached to seeking help or talking about mental health issues. Change can only happen when people take action and raising mental health awareness is an important action that almost everyone can take. Thirdly, 
to gain knowledge on obtaining and maintaining good mental health. By gaining this kind of knowledge, we may promote early identification of mental disorder, uh, improve mental health outcomes, and also increase the use of health services, not just for ourselves, but with this, we can help others who are in need of help. And fourth is to increase the productivity and relationship among members organizer. If multiple people are working on a project and the tasks are split clearly and effectively, then the overall process uh, will run more effectively. Furthermore, when everyone pulls their weight, work is shared equally and one team member isn't left to do significantly more than the rest, this will improve relationship and make team members happier in their work. I have now come to the end of our presentation. In summary, I hope that our proposed community project can be accepted and thus can be benefited by the students. To end our presentation, I would like to share a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. In the end, we will remember not the words from our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Thank you very much.